Hey you guys, it's Ready to Lose 77. Um, this is just a quick accountability video for me. Um, um, okay, today and yesterday, I didn't do any working out. Um, I did do yard work, but that's not considered working out. I mean, that may <clears throat> burn calories, but um, you know, it doesn't really get your heart rate up and um, you know, keep it going unless I'm planting a flower bed and I'm digging and all that good stuff, then my size, my heart rate gets up. But um, what I want to say real quick, and this is a good reminder for me because I just went back and watched, um, I think it's Jenna's Banded Journey. I just watched some of her videos. Um, she's 20 something weeks out. But anyways, um, and it helps me to even look back at other people's videos. So it's going to, this is, I need this. But my point is, is that um, let's see, Tuesday, today is Thursday, so today and yesterday I didn't work out, Tuesday and Monday I did the, um, um, Jillian Michaels workout video yesterday, I ain't even gonna lie, I was in a lot of pain, um, and I saw, I was like, you know, I was either gonna walk or, this is what I was telling myself anyways, I was either gonna walk or make it a rest day, and then I was gonna start alternate, alternating, um, the, elliptical machine and the workout video because with the places that I was hurting that I never heard at I, I'm assuming that that is it's some type of muscle because it wasn't like pulled feeling it was you know I've had that feeling in other places just not like the inside of my thighs but anyways I think it's a good video so um, my dogs are fighting on the couch y'all but anyways today I was gonna um I made a thousand excuses. Today is the day of a thousand excuses. Um, that's why I need to do this. Because even with me going to showing y'all the number on the scale. Stop it, girls. Oh, God. Anyways, even with me going to showing y'all the numbers on the scales, that is making me more and more accountable. The things that I do that are real, that are here, y'all have to, I have to face the numbers with y'all. It helps me out. Um. I need accountability to other people because it's easy for me to fail myself, but it's not easy for me to fail other people, and I want to encourage other people in their journey. Um, I did not work out today, and on top of not working out, I brought Nutella into my home. Yes, I let her in, and um, I ate a lot of her, enough to account for a day's worth of calories, I'm sure, because that stuff is so sugary and so bad, and that is my mistake. I knew better. I did it. I own it. Something I need to do is own these things. Um, and I am tired of standing still. I've, I have barely moved. And it's because I need to put in some effort. I'm going to tell you right now, new lap banders or people that are getting the band, um, when they say it's a tool, you need to really, really, really focus on that. Those words. It is only a tool. I don't even really see where it really keeps me um, without the accountability that I'm trying to give myself here on YouTube and with other people. Um, I, I can't. I can honestly say I could probably put weight back on now. It would be. I wouldn't. I couldn't put it on as quickly, but maybe I could if I could sit around and eat Nutella all the time. But um, my thing is, is that I know what I need to do and. Um, I've got to start focusing on that again and I also have an appointment coming up on the 18th and I really don't want to disappoint my doctor either um you know he pushed and pushed not like pushed pressured me but he pushed for me to get the gastric bypass um because you know in all honesty the weight's going to drop off regardless because if you can only eat a little few ounces of food now you may you're going to drop the weight it's it, I mean there's just no way. I know t a lot of people that have had it, but their problem comes at um, way down the road in maintenance because that stomach, just like it started out, your stomach started out small um, and you stretched it into the size it is now by overeating, the new stomach can do the exact same thing. So their problems come later and the joy comes quicker. Where ours starts hard and ends, in my opinion, will end with us having more knowledge not that not, not that all gastric bypass people don't have knowledge, but those are the people that follow rules. Um, as for me, I'm not following all the rules. 
So tomorrow, I will come to y'all with a shot from this camera, live shot from of me in the gym. I will go and I will hit that elliptical machine and I've got to make up for Saturday and what did I say I was not going to work, work out on Sunday? I do believe in my heart of hearts the Lord understands and he does not want me to be 275 point whatever pounds. So I believe that it's going to be alright. So uh, Saturday and Sunday that will give me my five days this week. Um, tomorrow I plan to watch everything that I eat and consume Nothing but water except for I give myself, I'm rewarding myself with one Diet Mountain Dew at the end of the day with my dinner. And yeah, I do drink a little bit during dinner time. But anyways, I say with my dinner, it's my nighttime. It's like my dessert. And what I'm going to do is reward myself with one at nighttime. That way, if I do good throughout the day, then I have earned that Diet Mountain Dew. I'm addicted to them enough that's a reward for me. But anyways, it's supposed to be short. Anyways, I want y'all to know what's going on and that I will come to y'all tomorrow night with a shot from my maybe tomorrow afternoon just depending on how everything goes it's either going to be tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night um anyways y'all have a great blessed fun weekend and um just keep on keeping on i will one day i will be on here encouraging people on how to and maintain and encouraging people that are coming just starting this journey to keep on keeping on and that you know they can look back at my old videos and that where I will be one day and see that people that struggle in the beginning can achieve weight loss in the end. Bye.